This is a new segment that will be in some of my pastor chats that I have with you. It will be people from our congregations of Dornson United Methodist Church and Luzerne United Methodist Church reaching out to all of you to say hello. In this first segment, we will see Sally Salak from Dornson United Methodist Church say hello and also the Perigino family from Luzerne United Methodist Church reaching out to all of you. Hi, everybody. Just thought I'd come and say hello to everybody, see how everybody's doing. Just a short check-in. Um, miss seeing you all, you guys, in church, but I'm glad to see everybody on Sunday morning that joins us. Um, it makes us have a calm moment to our week. Uh, if there's anything you need, let us know. We're here for you. And don't forget, wear your masks. Hope to see you all soon. Take care. Hey, everybody. It's the Perry and Juno family. Just want to wish everyone well in these crazy times, and uh, stay safe. Hello, everybody. It's Don Perugino. We miss everyone. We can't wait till we're all back together and hopefully enjoy a nice summer and be able to get together and just see everyone soon. We miss everybody. Love you. Good afternoon on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. Um, just coming to you again to check in with all of you to uh, mention what is coming up in this coming week and maybe to reflect back on what happened this past week. Um, but first, let me check in with you. How are you doing? How are you getting through all these changes that are occurring in your life? We're hearing that now things will gradually, uh, by a, a, a gradual approach, be opened up here in Pennsylvania over a, a period of time, which can be frightening um, for a lot of people. Um, but it's gradually coming back around with, of course, new restrictions uh, that we have to abide by. Also, this is the first week, right, that we all had to wear our masks uh, when we go out to grocery stores or, or any place out in public um, that we would be picking up our essential items. Again, our lives are changing. Um, it's also been probably maybe over a month for some of you where you've been working from home. How has that been going? So please comment on that. Share with us how's, how's your life been going um, what prayers maybe that you would like for us to lift up for you now? What's on your hearts? Or maybe prayers for others. Um, how things have been going on in my life. I've had numerous people ask, you know, how are you doing, Pastor Brian? Um, I said, I'm, I'm doing well. I've been blessed with um, great friends and a support system um, that uh, checks in with me, that I talk with, uh, with my very close friend, um, I also uh, enjoy still going out and getting fresh air on my walks that we can still do. I'm also amazed and, 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 and in awe of how God is still working among us by all the things that are being happening in our community from the Al Beach Food Bank and the food bank down there um, that uh, members of our church are part of. Um, also, uh, the amazing abilities of people to make masks. Uh, we've had surgical masks, I mean cloth masks to be made. We've already made close to a thousand masks that have been given out to nursing homes and communities. Um, those masks have been made from people all the way up from my home church in, in Susquehanna County uh, where I grew up and uh, up there all the way down to the churches here at Dornston and Luzerne that have been making these masks. And those masks have gone out as far as nursing homes out to Chicago, down to Philly, um, and also the people in our area, um, a good portion, over three quarters or more of those masks um, have been used here locally. And we're still making more for um, people that are uh, asking those in need or, or that require those masks that might not have the ability to get any. But uh, we're still making them and, and moving those out into our community. Um, it's been a blessing to be a part of that. It's been a blessing to um, use the, the gifts and the abilities I have been given to 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 help other people. Um, I've been very fortunate um, in my life and it's just being able to be among all of you that has been amazing. And then also hearing the stories that I've been blessed of how all uh, our communities are coming together along with our churches and our pastors and the amazing things that they are doing in their context. It's been amazing. So I've been doing well. I still have my Christmas tree up, uh, lighted. That gives me uh, joy uh, while I'm here at home. Um, but it's been, a, it's been a good time, and I love cooking. If you watch me on my Facebook site, I do a lot of cooking to relax. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, sorry about that uh, little ding. Um, it's just a, a message came in, and I guess I didn't uh, silent, silence it. 
Um, but the other things that are coming up, I just wanted to now move forwards again. But first, before we move forwards, please put any concerns you have or prayers you want lifted up down in our comment section. Um, this coming Sunday at worship, we'll be looking at Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. Um, this portion of scripture of Luke um, talks about the, the road to Emmaus, where Jesus um, shows himself to the disciples. Um, it's an amazing time, and, and it's an amazing thing for Jesus to show himself to them on that road to Emmaus. And when you're reading that scripture of Luke 24, verses 13 to 35, I want you to think about maybe this Willie Nelson uh, song. I don't know if any of, if all of you know Willie Nelson. He a, was a very famous country singer um, and still is a very famous country singer. And he had a song called On the Road Again. And reflect on that with the scripture about meeting Christ on the road again. Uh, we are on a different road right now, right? So where can we encounter Christ in our lives? Is he already there? How is he there when he does appear to us? Because it's a different road again. And remember this. And some of these lyrics might, might resonate with you. It says, on the road again. Just can't wait to get on that road again. Right? We all can't wait to get on that road again. Going places I have never been, I can't wait to get on the road again. We are all are waiting to get on that road again and get out of our houses and to do things back to normal, but it's not going to be normal. So where can we now encounter Christ on that road again? Uh, with that, I'm looking then to have a, 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 a Zoom live or starting a, a, a time on Monday night at 6 o'clock called Monday Moments. Um, it will be about 15 or 20 minutes where we can reflect on the uh, the sermon or the message, I call it, the message or the reflection that I will be um, speaking to on Sunday, talking about us being on the road again. It gives us time for us to interact. Um, you will see the, the worship service reposted again on YouTube uh, Monday during the day. Um, you also can, uh, when you watch it on Facebook on Sunday. But then we'll discuss that passage um, of Luke 24 verses 13 to 35 and maybe um, just pick a couple points out of there and just how does that matter to us? Have a time of reflection, also a time of check-in where we can do more one-on-one -on -one, um, prayer. Um, but it gives us a time to interact into the message as we begin our week to see how we can apply that message in our lives. Um, there'll be some added contact, content once in a while. It's just a a different way of us sharing time together and to grow together. Um, this will be a learning uh, process for me, so bear with me and and uh, also uh, allow me grace to be able to get through it because I'm going to be doing different things. But I know it will be a great time together. So as I leave you now, just I ask you to um, look at today. Find a thing today in your life in your lives that have made you happy? What is that one thing, or maybe now you can think of, what's the one thing that brings you joy? And let that joy uh, be resonating in you now. And put that joy down in the comments. What brings you joy? Where do you think that joy will come from when you go on that road again? I look forward to uh, joining you in worship on Sunday and talking to you all on Monday at 6 o'clock for Monday Moments. Have a great day and God bless.